Uganda embraced multi-party dispensation in 2005 to allow a multitude of parties with different ideologies to tussle it out for the highest office in the land. Since 1986, the NRM has been in power as many opposition parties struggle to stay afloat. With the new agreement between DP and NRM attracting lots of criticism from the party members, the DP bloc, which comprises the Social Democratic Party, the Truth and Justice Forum, and the Democratic Party, and which has been opposed to Mao, held a press conference in Kampala. The DP bloc has taken an uncompromising decision to work closely with the organs of the party to effect due process of relieving Norbert Mao and the slander of their party positions. It was very difficult to know who has been leaking information who has been sabotaging all operations of the opposition. But it also explains why the opposition has been shunning the Democratic Party under the leadership of Norbert Mao. Although dismissing Mao will have to follow due process, which means that the DP National Executive Committee will have to decide on the matter, the bloc has outlined some conditions that Mao has to abide to as he awaits for the dismissal process to be completed. We want to isolate and excommunicate the two, by affecting, by effecting a ban on them from attaining all political, social, cultural and religious events. Everybody keeps choosing, you keep changing goalposts. And uh, some people term it as um, political prostitution, for lack of a better word. That even you, you go where you feel it works. So um, what's the difference between some of your members who pay allegiance to NUP and other parties, all right, and still call themselves DP members? So why don't you leave one party and go to the other? Just like how you're telling Nobat Mao to go to NRM and forget about DP. People power was a pressure group. It did not stop JEMA, Asmani Basariwa, ANT, the Mwilus and the like, ourselves to be what we are as party members of different entities, registered. I thought that one as members of the press, you understood clearly that time. I also think that you very well understand that PFT brings together different parties, different formations, different pressure groups, different civil society entities, academia, students. Don't you come to blame me, why do you belong to PFT? How do you come and hold a press conference and fire him during a press conference? I thought you, you are bound by the constitution of the party. That actually there are some processes where you must give someone a right to be heard. Natural justice goes that we all have to abide with what we put our signature on. Natural justice. And the natural justice is that the, major, the, the remaining lot of all of us are agreeing. The members said they had reservations about the cooperation agreement. Dr. Baiga here has to sit on the same side with the Prime Minister. Under one whip. <laughs> and under one whip. That is why that is what Mr. Ma wants us to go into so that we can have by elections wherever DP candidates had successes, the nine of us. We go back to the people and seek new mandates under NRM. And though the party is experiencing a turbulent time with nine members in parliament, they say they are devising a way forward. Rebuilding the grassroots structures of the DP bloc at home and the diaspora. And they see restoring cooperation and cordial relations with all change seeking forces in Uganda. However, Mao who Parliament's Appointment Committee approved for Minister for Justice and Constitutional Affairs, insists he is still the DP president. I've had voices calling for, for me to step aside. I think the reason is not the cooperation of agreement. The reason would have been, for instance, if members said you will be too busy. I think that one I would listen to it. There have been efforts in the past to reunite the dissatisfied members of the Democratic Party with the mainstream DP, but in vain. And critics are saying 
that the bloc seems to be swayed by the wind and uh, the deposition at the number of political parties they have subscribed to in the past and present for political capital. Sudiri Yarhanga, NTV.